Brewing Feed is here at Sierra Nevada Brewing Company. It's a mega craft brewery that's still very craft. Let's go see what they're working with. Sierra Nevada Brewing Company was founded in 1979 in Chico, California by two home brewers. It is now the seventh largest brewery in the United States. Brewing Feed paid a visit to their Mills River, North Carolina brewery, which was opened in 2014. The brewery sits on 185 acres of land and has its own half million gallon stormwater storage system to store water that's used for cleaning. If that's not eco-friendly enough for you, then the on-site wastewater treatment plant that generates methane that's used in power production and the 2,200 solar panels that help power the building should win you over. Our first stop was the tap room, which didn't disappoint. With over 20 beers on tap, they had all the bases covered. On tap, they had their Torpedo and Celebration IPAs, their Bigfoot Barley Wine, the Narwhal Stout, Ultra Vez Goza, a Sour, and many more. Next, we ventured to the back patio, which was bustling with friendly beer enthusiasts like us. As we left the patio to explore the spacious backyard, we stumbled across an on-site organic garden that immediately made Sierra Nevada a candidate for a Brewing Feed certification. The garden was filled with vegetables and herbs which they use in their restaurant and in beers brewed on their small scale pilot brewery. We then strolled around the rest of the backyard where we came upon a stage that is located downhill from the patio which makes for a great amphitheater for live music. All of the sightseeing made us hungry so we headed over to the restaurant. The restaurant has a highly visible wood-fired oven used for making pizza, flatbread, and roasted vegetables, and the kitchen is presented in an open format which is great for foodies like us. Sierra Nevada describes their food as artful, chef-driven, and focused on small plate, shareable, whole animal and farm-to-table dishes sourced mainly from local suppliers. Okay, me and my road manager over here, we're in the Grand Tap Room at Sierra Nevada. You see the, the tap list in the back back there? We're actually sitting at the what I call the foodie bars right in front of the rest, right in front of the, uh, the kitchen. And you can sit here and you can order your food. And uh, they got a nice little tapas style menu. You can order some beer from here. It's self, it's self serve, so you just walk up and pick a chair just like at the bar. After having lunch, we decided to go upstairs and take the self-guided tour of the brew house and the packaging facility. However, on the way we came across another tap room called High Gravity because it's on the second floor. It is a very spacious hall with a stage and a doorway that leads to the grand balcony that overlooks the patio and the backyard. I left my manager to hang at the patio while I went to go drool over the brew house. Feast your eyes on this.
Next, it was off to the bottling and packaging facility where things move fast. A bonus to visiting Sierra Nevada is that they have antique brewing equipment and artwork throughout the facility, so I took a trip back in time while taking them in. At the end of our visit, we made a stop in their store and picked up some brew and some swag. Cementing Sierra Nevada's Brew and Feed certification was a display with food products made with beer or beer ingredients as well as a craft beer cookbook. We're sold. Okay, we're winding down the day here at Sierra Nevada. I have a barrel aged, a wine barrel aged barley wine. Incredible, something I never had before. I'm actually thinking about cloning this beer and making it myself. So I'm sitting here on the grand patio above the backyard, so to speak, of the Sierra Nevada. We're being inundated with ladybugs, which is cool. We're out in the wilderness, so we're not the wilderness, but we're out in the woods and the wide open spaces. But um, Sierra Nevada is a very inspirational place. This brewery is very vast, very impressive. We just left the bottling line. Um, it, was, it was a work of art, for lack of a better term. And uh, just coming out here and seeing this place and seeing how they brew on a very large scale, but remain essentially really, was really a craft brewery is very impressive so if you're ever in Asheville even if you're not in Asheville you should make a special trip to Asheville just to come and visit Sierra Nevada Brew and Feed highly recommends it thanks for watching